Hi, I'm Roberta. Welcome to my kitchen. Today we're going to talk about one of my favourite vegetables, artichokes. They're quite primitive looking, aren't they? They are a thistle. They grow on a big plant, both wild and cultivated, although we only get them cultivated these days. And a lot of people aren't going to tackle them because they're not quite sure how. They're really easy. All you need is your artichoke and a lemon and some water. And today I'm going to show you how to prepare them to use in lots of different dishes. Let's get cooking. And whenever you're preparing artichokes, you need a lemon handy. We'll have half a lemon for rubbing and we're going to put the rest of this lemon juice into the bowl of water because artichokes oxidize quicker than just about anything, quicker than apples, quicker than avocado, and they don't look particularly attractive once they're oxidized. So plenty of lemon juice. I don't know if it makes any difference, but I just throw the half in there as well. Let's get rid of this. And now one artichoke at a time. We're going to cut it off, leaving a centimeter or two of stem. And as soon as we cut a surface with artichokes, we rub it with the other lemon. Now, artichokes do seem a bit wasteful, although the way I prepare them is less wasteful than some. We just want to start breaking off all of those leaves. I think they're called bracts, technically, but we're going to call them leaves. And the other thing is, be careful, because they can be spiky, some more so than others. So as I'm holding it like that, I'm feeling a couple of those spikes digging into me. So do take care. And we keep breaking off these leaves until we start to see a pale green base to them. Now it's starting to come through there. I'm going to go another leaf or two. Leave as many leaves on as you can because you'll see when we come to eat them that it doesn't matter because we're only eating the base, we're not eating the top. Uh, that one can go, that one can go, and I think we've got enough green showing with the rest. So let's get rid of that. Now, a little paring knife and we just want to peel the stems and also get rid of all of that dark green there. So we're just going down and basically just breaking that off. Again, don't get rid of any more than you have to because it's all delicious. So that's the last of that. And now what do we do the second we've exposed that? We rub it over the bowl because then we'll collect all the juice with our lemon. So rub, 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 don't delay. There we go. All that exposed surface. Get rid of that as we go. Now depending on the size and shape of your artichoke, you want to cut off the top sections because they're definitely not going to be edible. If it's a long spiky one, you're going to cut off about a third. This one being shorter and rounder, I'm just going to take off about a quarter. So just those very top, and you do need a good sharp knife for this. There we go, those very top ones. And you can see there's some nice green in there even. So what do we do as soon as we've cut it? We rub it with lemon. Now, if when you've cooked your artichokes, you're going to halve them or quarter them, you don't need to worry about getting the choke out at this stage. Now the choke, which is what they're named for, artichokes, is the hairy centre of that thistle. If we are serving them whole, if you're stuffing them for example, you need to get in there with a little spoon and just scoop around. You can't always see the choke, but you'll usually get a little bit of the hairy centre come out and we just throw that away. If, as I said, you're cutting them, don't worry about that, it's easier to take out when they're cut.